It's not a disease you normally associate with Arizona, Lyme disease. It's much more common in wet and forested areas where you find ticks. Maybe because it's so uncommon here, a local woman who has Lyme disease wasn't properly diagnosed for years. And she wants to get the word out. John Hook with her story. I'm using just a tiny little flip cam. It's a pretty common scene, a young person producing a video to put on YouTube. Here we go. But it's no ordinary message that Lizzie Bloom is trying to get out. Hi, everyone. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the different Lyme tests that are out there. The 22-year-old Phoenix woman has been sharing her battle with Lyme disease via YouTube. Lyme disease is an infection that you get from a tick. And what happens is the tick starts to, uh, is basically a parasite, and as it starts to suck the blood out of you, it's injecting you with bacteria. Dr. Ham is now treating five patients with Lyme disease. She says it's a very difficult disease to diagnose properly. All of my Lyme disease patients, not one of them has the same collection of symptoms. And so, unfortunately, Lizzie's story is common with Lyme disease patients. The difficulty in identifying Lyme is featured in a 2008 documentary about the disease called Under Our Skin. I have seen probably 30, maybe more doctors. 35 doctors. About 15 doctors. I've spent over $100,000 out of pocket. I was misdiagnosed for three years, five years, 14 years, 15 years. For Lizzie, the search for what was wrong with her has gone on for seven years. Freshman year of high school, I started you know, developing a lot of stomach issues, a lot of GI issues, stomach pain, nausea, any time after I ate. And it was really intense to the point where I was having trouble eating anything. She went to several doctors, none of whom could find anything wrong with her, despite numerous tests. She was eventually told she had a sensitive stomach. She struggled with that through high school. But then things got worse when she went to college in California. It wasn't until my freshman year of college when a bunch of other symptoms piled on top of me that we knew that something else was wrong. Beyond the stomach issues, she was very weak and dizzy almost all the time. It was terrifying. More doctors, more tests, and they still came up empty. In November, I was the worst that I had ever been. And I couldn't get out of bed. I, you know, I stopped eating. I stopped drinking. Her condition continued to deteriorate with more options through traditional medicine. She eventually tried a naturopathic doctor. And finally, this past January, tests confirmed she had Lyme disease. She would get better a little bit and then get worse, get better a little bit and then get worse. And then she was slowly getting worse and worse. I, I don't know what would have happened to her if she didn't eventually get diagnosed and correct the problem, but she, she has turned a corner. Antibiotics and a regimen of natural remedies seemingly have Lizzie back on the road to good health. But it will be a long journey. She remains pretty much homebound and still suffers from the dizziness. And energy is in short supply. Just even having friends over takes a lot out of me. Um, you know, I have friends come over and hang out, and then as soon as they're gone, I have to go lie down because it really wears me out. She'll probably always struggle with things now and then. Her, her immune system is weaker because of it now. But I, I hope and I, I think that she will, she'll be symptom-free. But there's a chance she may have to deal with the symptoms for the rest of her life. Meantime, she's taking college classes online and working on her videos trying to get the word out about Lyme disease. And the response has been positive. This person is commenting on a video of mine, and she's saying, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've gained friends through YouTube that are going through the same Lyme disease, and they post their own videos, and, you know, that's how we interact with one another. And it's great. It's like a little Lyme family. Bottom line, she hopes no one has to go through what she has. If I can get the word out there and maybe someone else is out there going through similar symptoms or situations and they haven't thought of Lyme, then, you know, maybe they can go to their doctor and ask to be tested for Lyme. John Hook for Fox 10 News. Lizzie told us she wants to experience everything she's missed out on, like playing softball and volleyball.